TikTok, you're getting so good with these questions. Zoe, this is a million dollar gold question. So you see a company that you really like, but you don't see any jobs posted that you're fit for. What should you do? I like where you're headed with this, but I'm gonna give you some advice that is tried and true that it's gonna help you get better results, okay? Now, first, the beautiful part about this is that the pressure's off. There isn't a job you're interested in. So when you message people at the company, that they're not gonna feel like you're trying to get you know, straight to a hiring manager, or you're trying to immediately use them to get a job, okay? So what we wanna do instead is find, and my advice is to try to find five or six people where you know they're in a similar role that you would be in or maybe they're a little bit higher up and you do that by going to the LinkedIn company page looking at the people that work there and stocking people's profiles to be honest with you okay but find five or six people that you have something in common with right maybe you went to the same school or got the same certification or you see something on their profile that you admire there has to be a connection point or reason for you to reach out now once you've done that you are going to send them a custom connection request and that's simply adding a note, right? So you're asking them to connect on LinkedIn and you're saying, hey, we haven't met, but I saw this on your profile and I'd love to connect, I have a question, right? Or, hey, saw that we both share this in common, huge fan of your company, would love to connect, something like that, right? So do what feels appropriate to you, but don't give too much away, right? Just really the point is to show them that you have looked at their profile and you pulled out something specific so they know that you're not a spam bot. Does that sound good? Okay. Now, out of the five or six, are they all gonna connect with you? No, and we don't care, and we don't get hung up on that, right? But the truth is, one of two or the, one or two of them are. And you keep going until somebody does. Now, when they connect with you, Zoe, where you are headed with this is, is where I want you to kinda go. I want you to say, thank you so much for connecting with me. I'm a huge fan of your company, and you're not currently hiring for my position, which is fine, but I would just love to hear from you What's your one piece of advice you would give somebody that would love to get hired there one day? Or what's one thing that you think really helped you stand out and get your job? Or what's one tip you would give somebody like me for the day when your company is hiring for my skill set? See, what you're doing there is explaining to them, look, you don't even have a job available to me right now, and I'm not you know, trying to get you to introduce me to a hiring manager. I'm seeking your advice. I'm really impressed with your background. What's the one tip? Notice I kept saying one tip or one piece of advice. It is always easier for a total stranger to help you out when you simplify the ask, when you ask for that one thing. And so they can give that quick response back. Now, whatever they respond with, you say, thank you so much, super helpful. Um, and I'll keep in touch. If I ever end up applying for the job, I'll keep in touch, something like that. And you just keep doing this with people at the company. Now, here's why. This is the coolest part, Zoe. In LinkedIn, when there finally comes a job that you're a fit for and you apply through LinkedIn, when recruiters look at your profile, it actually tells them how many people you're connected to at the company. And when they see that you've connected with several people, it increases the chances they're gonna call you for an interview. Because what? We know that networking plays a huge role, right? But also, when you finally apply to that job, all those people that connected with you, you will now go back and pay them a compliment. You will now message them in LinkedIn and say, hey, I just wanted to thank you for that awesome advice you gave me. Your company just posted a job that I'm a fit for and I applied and I really took your advice to heart. Thank you for that. So you're just giving them thanks. But what are they gonna do, right? They're gonna look at your profile, they're gonna forward it to the hiring manager. Because in there, you, you told them the job that you applied to and that you're really grateful that they gave you the advice and you utilized it in your application, right? So you didn't ask for anything, you just said thank you. Now what's gonna happen? They're gonna forward you to the hiring manager and that's how you're gonna get yourself pulled from the pile. This is the strategy that smart job seekers use when they have a bucket list of employers. That's what you do, a list of 10 to 20 companies that you would love to work for and you just chip away at this strategy. Right, my company's called Work It Daily for a reason. If you do this five minutes a day, just sending these custom connection requests and you know, seeking the advice and amassing these connections to these companies, it's amazing how it works. And when a job comes available because you're following the companies, you're able to jump right on it and use what you've learned and then thank those people for it. it just, it's just a game changer, Zoe. So you, my friend, are a super smart woman for thinking strategically like this, but I needed to give you more context on how this is done correctly, okay? And if that made sense to you and you would like a lot more information like this, all in one place, all organized and easy to access so that you can learn all these tips and tricks in order to get your dream job, you know what to do. Come let me be your career coach over at Worky Daily. 
There's a seven day free trial to get access to all of this instantly. And at the end of seven days, if you like it, memberships start at $19 a month, which is less than a dollar a day, right? So what would it be like to have a job search career coach like me in your back pocket? Well, now you can try it and find out for free. But in the meantime, awesome, awesome question, Zoe. I hope you go do this, what I explained to you, because it will work, my friend, okay? Good luck. Go get them.